Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum Welcome to Primavera Project Planner 10th Tutorial I am Engineer Muhammad Qasim Shinwari to guide you in this tutorial In this tutorial we will customize the layouts we will make two layout in the first layout we have to group the activities in following order project face responsibility and we will apply filter to show next three activities in next three months only and we will also format the columns such that it should display only activity ID activity description early start early finish and percentage completion so let's start ok so uh, we have to customize the layouts we are we are making two layouts so let me first make the first layout for layout go to view layout new save layout one for project home one yes ok so it is our second layout now view layout you can save it for the name three months look ahead three months look ahead click on save so you can see it has been saved by the name three months look ahead okay first of all we have to do grouping for grouping go to format organize now we have to add group first group in groups first we have project category so select project next is face face and third is responsibility let me customize these colors change it to white and it's to red and change the font modify it to the 24 bold eye and uh, change the color of the face and give it 14 bold eye and also this 14 bold eye means 14 bold italic and it's aerial you can also change these colors it depends on your choice okay here we have to sort it just by early start so delete the total float now click on organize now okay so here you can see it has been organized and grouped in a well mannered way you can uh, also observe that here we are getting first design phase then construction phase and after that finishing phase why these are in order it might be possible that we get construction phase in top it's so because if you remember in first video tutorial when we were defining the activity codes so here activity IDs here we give the design phase order 1 let me change it to 2 and construction phase 1 now it should now construction phase should be displayed at top close it go to format reorganize now so you can see that now we are getting construction phase at top and after that design phase and in the last we are getting finishing phase so let me undo that again make the order of the design phase as 1 and construction phase 2 close it format reorganize now so here you can see it's now organized okay second thing uh, we are uh, going to apply the filter so that we will add the activities lying in the next three months only for applying filter go to format 
filter or you can also access the filter by just clicking the filter icon here add a new filter and uh, let its id be 16 ok and here the filter name should be 3 months look ahead and it must meet all of the following criteria here we have only one criteria and uh, select the criteria as early start activities in next three months let me select early start and here is within range of so low value is today's date click on cal and calendar date so you can see today's date is automatically written click on check now we are going to have the next three months so august first month its starting month one two three so next three months okay highlight the three months look ahead click on run so you can see that we have the activities which will start in the next three months only and these are also sorted and grouped so it was about layout number one in which we grouped the activities according to their project face and responsibility moreover we have applied filter in the and we have filtered out the activities which are lying in next three months now we have to format the columns just to display five columns for formatting columns go to format columns or click on or press F11 key of your keyboard okay, here we have a lot of columns so we have just remove it resource early finish leave it early start percent remaining duration delete it original duration also delete it so we have activity uh, id activity description early start early finish percent complete and one more that was I think uh, we were having five and here one two three four five okay it's okay and uh, you can also change its font but for this case I am not changing changing it you can change it click on okay so here you can see that we are having just one two three four five columns no other columns we are having activity id second is activity description then percent complete early start early finish let me uh, place the percent completion column at the end so go to format columns and uh, percent complete so delete it now click here and select percent complete yeah now click on ok so you can see percent complete is now at the end so in this way you can customize your layouts so it was our first layout now coming to the second layout in our second layout we are going to group the activities in order of project and phase only while we will be having columns of activity description early start early finish and percentage completion but early start will be renamed as planned start and early finish will be renamed as planned finish so let's start it we have to open our main layout which is view layout open three months look ahead we have made now so our layout was classic schedule layout open it yes 
activities are loading okay it was our layout so here uh, we have to make uh, you can say you want you to make a new layout and its name will be go to view layout save and its name will be monthly report for the client or you can say monthly report for client enter monthly report for client ok here we are going to group the activities so go to format organize and group it first is project so it's project next is phase phase let the front of the project to 24 bold I make it white and change the color to red similarly change the front of face as 14 bold I and leave as it is okay remove the total float from it now organize now okay you can see that it has been organized construction of a house and three phases design phase construction phase and finishing phase now we have to format the columns so go to format columns here we should have columns of activity description so remove the activity ID activity description is ok early start uh, original duration remove it remaining duration remove it percent complete remove it also early start early finish leave them and resource budget cost now add the percent completion ok now we have to remove uh, we have to rename the early start as planned start so here you can see early start title is early start so name it as planned start enter and here it will be planned finish and it should be uh, percentage completion you can leave it or you can change it change the title as you wish so click on ok now you can see that increase the column width so you can see properly you can see that the early start is now named as planned start and planned finish is has replaced the early finish so in this way you can customize the layouts you can make monthly report but you can see that it includes all the activities so let me apply the filter so it should show the activities lying for a specific month go to filter and make another filter which should have title of monthly report and set it early start is within range of low value uh, let me enter today's date click on check and high value should be it's 16th August so 16th September so it will be a monthly report for this click on ok run it 
so you are having the activities which are lying in the coming month it has been sorted it has been grouped as well so in this way you can make monthly reports you can customize your layouts so in this video tutorial we have customized the layouts we have made two layouts in which we were having different filters different activities and different number of columns and different even we have uh, renamed the columns so this is the end of the 10th tutorial see you in next tutorial allah hafiz